Hey guys, today we're going to be going over how to uh, download Windows 10 ISO to our desktop and then we're going to log into our ESXi host to create a new virtual machine and install Windows 10 on the machine. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is maybe go to google.com or you can copy this URL and you want to Google uh, Windows 10 download. You're going to hopefully get to this page. You're going to scroll down where it says download now. We're going to download this exe that's going to help us create this ISO. So once you download that, I've already had it downloaded and I'm going to run it right now. Then you're going to get this pop-up we're gonna agree to the terms of service and we're not gonna upgrade this PC what we would want to do is create the installation media uh, ISO file which would be then downloaded and stored onto our desktop so we'll save it to our desktop so then we can uh, upload it to our host so go ahead and hit next here's what you're gonna want to select if you're 32-bit 64-bit uh, Windows 10 of course um, usually these defaults are usually pretty good so we're going to hit next on that we're gonna choose ISO file because we now if you want to burn it to a thumb drive to install on an actual computer that's where you use the USB flash drive but we're gonna do ISO file and we're gonna hit next and it's going to download to our desktop now i already have it downloaded to our desktop so i'm not going to hit next on this but just proceed next and save it to your desktop and let it download it it's going to take probably depending on your internet speed 15 to 30 minutes or more so once that downloads let's go to our esksi host we're going to log in as our root here and we're gonna to wanna to go to your storage. So I have two arrays. So, I um, mean, like I said, I already have it downloaded and uploaded, but you're gonna to wanna to click on your, whatever store you have. So in this instance, I'm gonna to go to my uh, RAID 5 storage and we're gonna to go to data store browser and we're gonna click on, I have a folder called ISOs. So if you wanna create a folder called ISO so you can upload all your ISOs there, that's how I keep it organized. And then you can see I have my Windows 10 ISO up here. So in your instance, you just hit upload, browse to the ISO that you saved on the desktop and upload it. And that's how you get the ISO onto the actual server. So once you have have that done and uploaded like i said that's going to take another 15 minutes or so depending on your your land speed and, and everything uh so once that's done hit close then we're going to go to our virtual machines and we're going to go ahead and create and then uh, create a new virtual machine hit next and then we're going to name it so i'm going to name it um youtube windows 10 then compatibility that's fine uh, os family version we're going to select windows and then Windows 64 bit. Make sure you do the right OS here and then hit next. I again ask what storage we want that VM to be created on. Now I'm gonna do it on my, my fast RAID 10 15K SAS storage. So that's what I'm gonna select there, hit next. This is where you can customize the resources dedicated to this virtual machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this four cores, change just the gigabit just cause it's easier for me and for everyone else. Change that to eight gigs of memory. Hard disk, 48 gigs, that's pretty, pretty limited, especially with Windows 10, cause usually Windows 10 is about 20 to 30 gigs depending on updates and everything on there and that's just the os then you gotta install whatever else you want on there so 150 is good and you can always expand that later on so once we have that selected then we're going to go to our network we're going to do vm network important step here cd drive we're going to select data store iso file so we're going to go to our raid 5 storage again iso and that windows 10 iso we uploaded earlier so we have that mounted now then we can go ahead and hit next and finish and now that's going to create that new virtual machine there it is already we're going and click on it and we hit power on so we're going to go ahead and open up our vm here and it's already powered on it's going to ask you to press any key to boot from that iso push a key on your keyboard of course and now it's going to boot from that iso now we don't have to go into the bios or anything like that to change the startup because vm already knows that there's no bootable os on that drive so it automatically found that iso and hence why I press a key and now it's already booted and boom, we're already at the installation. That's how fast that was. So go ahead and hit next, install now. Okay, at this page, we're gonna do, I don't have a product key. You're going to put in your key, but I don't have mine at the moment. So I'll just enter it in later. Then select what version of Windows 10 you want. I'm gonna select pro, cause that's the key that I have. If you have home, then select home. Then we hit next. And then the next part should be the terms of service. And then the, uh, if we need to do a custom install, so we hit custom, we can see there's the 150 uh, gig partition that we created earlier for this virtual machine so select that and hit next now it's doing the actual installation so this can take depending on your drives you know i've seen it as fast as 15 minutes 20 minutes uh if you have like m.2 ssd drives uh this is a little bit slower than that but it should be still pretty quick all right we're back so now you can see it's rebooted after the installation so we're going to hit united states and just go through these welcome steps here uh just to get the vm all set up and we'll get in there and then we'll uh install vmware tool we're going to skip on 
on that. All right, we finally went through all that nonsense of setting up a user and everything. So we're now on the home screen of our Windows 10 machine. Everything's working great. Um, you can even open up File Explorer just to make sure everything's showing up good there. And you can see, yep, there's a 150 gig. And see, there go 20 gigs and just installation. That's not doing any updates yet. We'll close out of that. We're gonna go ahead and hit Action. Go down to Guess OS and install VMware. Like I said, you don't need it, but I highly recommend you installing this because uh, like the VMX driver for your NIC card. I mean, so many things rely on this, the video driver, you know, it's just best to have in different diagnostic and tools and logging within the HXI host. I mean, it's just a better user experience when you have VMware tools installed. It, I mean, to me, it's like a must to have. Uh, so like I said, it's very easy to install. As you can see it popped up immediately. Now with Linux, you know, you mount the tools and then you gotta extract it and do a little bit more things. But with Windows, of course, it's a little bit easier because you got that full GUI experience. But in any case, you guys, you're pretty much done. Uh, you got the VM created, Windows 10 installed, uh, VMware tools is now being installed. Classify that this is being really done now. So I hope this was helpful and got you going. If you have any issues or comments, please leave them below. And in the description is a link to download the Windows 10 installation. So if you want to get it off of Microsoft's website, which is where I recommend to get it, get it from there. And everything else, you just hit next, 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 install, and you're all set. See you guys in the next one.